Thanks for joining us here in Geneva for WISIS Forum 2019, where discussions are centered around inclusion and accessibility. And I am very pleased to be joined by the co-founders of UMI. We have Taha bin Khalid and Bendik Loevas. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, Taha, let's start with you because the whole thing started with your own personal journey. Tell us more about that. I'm going to share a story with you which started from my school when I was sitting in my class and there was this lecture by a really good presenter and the problem was that I was sitting at the last seat and then I couldn't see the presentation and because I couldn't see the presentation I lost interest in that and I was unable to actually uh, consume that content and then after the class I realized that um, was it just me who faced these challenges sitting at the back not able to see the presentation or is it like all other people also like me who faces these challenges at different events and conferences so I started going to a lot of conferences and try to sit at the back seats of these uh, venues and after the event I used to talk to these people hey how was the experience were you able to see the presentation did you face any challenges and then when I talk, uh, get to know that people were like yeah we couldn't hear the presenter properly we couldn't see the text on the screen so I found out that it was just not me it was uh, other people like me who are facing these challenges so I was like I want to solve this problem for people who face these situational limitations right and anyone can face these situational limitations and when I did start researching about this I found out that a lot of or a, a, a portion of the society is kept uh, aside from uh, participating as these events which is people with disabilities people who have uh, low hearing or who are uh, who, uh, who, who, who are blind or who are deaf uh, or who have physical limitations so I was like how I had I questioned myself how inclusive are these events how inclusive are these presentations and then I wanted to create a solution where I wanted to pr design a product or design a service that's universal and that ensures a complete or great experience for every participant no matter if they are have a disability or they are without a disability fantastic so tell us uh, a bit more about your your, your solution bending what can you Tell us about it. Yeah, so basically we created technology that enables any organizer or presenter uh, prior to the event itself to simply upload their presentation. Um, they will be able to communicate to the attendees at the event in advance that they can go to viewme.io and simply enter a five-digit room code. Uh, and they can, using their own personal devices, without downloading an application or something complex, they can just, in their browser, simply connect to the presentation. So they will be able to see the slides, to see subtitles, to potentially see it in a different language, or consume it in the modality of their own preference. So, so actually, around the world, every single day, there's being conducted presentations uh, in organizations or places where they don't have the same resources as events like this, where there is live captioning and there is being used assistive technologies, right? So a big portion of society or presentations in general is a big portion of knowledge sharing in the information society. And a big portion of the society cannot fully get an equal experience as anyone else. So that is what we are trying to solve. And we are trying to solve it in a way that is cost effective, low friction and easy to use for anyone, even if it's a small event, uh, a small presentation. Uh, I think th that's yeah. a very important point, isn't it? Because we are here at Wizards Forum talking about accessibility and it's not just about using technology to enhance the experience, speci especially for people who suffer from a disability, but it's also about making sure that the solutions are affordable, that yes. anyone can use them across the world, not just developing uh, economies or corporates. That's important, isn't it? I, I believe it's super important because we want to have good adoption growth, fast growth, and we, not, we want to scale it globally because knowledge sharing, it's, it should be global. It, should be, it, should be, uh, it shouldn't have any boundaries, irrespective of language issues, ir irrespective of lang uh, uh, location, right? And if you're going to provide uh, a solution that's uh, costly for these organizations or only the big organizations, organizations can afford them, then uh, the solution uh, is just for a small uh, portion of the society, then we are not solving the challenge. So it has to be cost effective and we have to focus on ease of use also. So the solution is out there, now you need to raise awareness. So Ex how are you going to do it? Yeah, so exactly. So what we started to do in parallel in addition to our product is to run workshops with organizations to ensure that they can increase awareness within their own organization. And that goes from even before the presentation starts, how do you invite? 
how do you communicate that this is an inclusive event or how inclusive it is. Uh, when you're making the presentation, that you're thinking about small things like font size, color contrast, to ensure that the content is inclusive enough, mm -hmm. and even images. So when you're using images in a presentation, you have to ensure that the images can be verbally communicated to someone who, for example, cannot see, right? Um, and then it's post-events. So even post-events, anyone with facing a disability should be able to communicate both with the presenter and the other attendees in an as equal way as possible uh, as anyone else, basically. So. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your good work. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.